Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes six to ten. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English, and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment, and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments, and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers, and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. Uh, all the educators doing these webinars, we are all from Mindchamp. Uh, with this link, uh, we are going to do Scratch. So last class, uh, we started doing Scratch. Doing, uh, I'm showing you all the code again. So for those uh, who came, who did not join last class, so Akash, Menon, I can see your certificate as the backdrop. That's nice. Okay, this is how Scratch. Uh, yeah, we have with the link you log into your Scratch account if you already have one. If you do not have an account, maybe probably right now you can look and learn and make your Scratch without making an account. You can create the project, and then once you create the project, if you do not have an account. You save save it to your computer. So remember to rename it over here. This is where we gave our name, where you give the name of the project. You give the name, then you go to your file and you save it to your computer if you do not have an account. Later on, you can create an account in Scratch, which is not very difficult. Once you create an account, you can load it. Go to file and load from your computer. Load that load that file. So it will come into your. Um, scratch and it will get saved over here in my stuff so a quick recap of what we did last class we launched this is you go to file you can press, click, click on new or you have a create button to create a new program like and code.org we have in events we have something called when green flag clicked that makes your program run like in code.org we had when run here we have when green flag clicked. The default sprite when you open a new project in Scratch, let me show you when I open a new, uh, is a cat. This cat is called a, this is called a sprite. So when I am coding the sprite, I can see uh, the image of the cat on the side, on the top left, right corner of the screen. Right now I cannot see it because there is only one sprite. What if I want to add more in sprites like you saw in my baseball project? So to add more sprites, you go to this. And there are a lot of sprites there by default in Scratch. So let me just clear this circle. So you go to you go at the bottom of the screen, you go to choose a sprite, and all the sprites available in Scratch will be you will be able to see. You can choose according to the category, or you can even search for a particular sprite by giving a name. So if I want a bat, this is the cricket bat, or this is the bat up. So it depends. Uh, if I want fantasy, I want dance, I want music, I can choose accordingly. So music is all musical instruments. So that's a sprite. Let me add, okay, I'm adding a guitar. So now you can see on the top right corner of your screen, you can see the cat. So whatever codes I drag and drop from here, I'll be coding only for the cat. If I want to code for the guitar, I need to click on the guitar. And then what you can see over here, now the guitar is selected. I have selected the guitar. And whatever I code will be only for the guitar. So depending on what we are coding, we want to uh, we add that sprite and we code for that particular sprite. Sprite. We also learned how to add image, backdrop image, the scene behind. That is from backdrops. I have circled it over here. This is the stage or the backdrop. 
Again, there are lots of default backdrops available on Scratch. When you go to choose a backdrop, you can select depending on what you are coding currently. So if I am, I want to code a bench, I am coding that my cat is sitting on the bench and playing the guitar. I can code it. I can place them accordingly. I can give the bench and I can show that the my uh, cat is playing the guitar. So that is adding a backdrop from here. Now I also showed you all there are more than one costume. So where is it? Right now we are in code. When I go to costume, I can see in right now I'm in the guitar. So first let's go and see if does our guitar have more costumes than one? Yes, it does. So that is the second guitar costume which shows these lines. That is the only difference about these lines. It shows as if you are playing something. So then those lines come. So I can always use that as when I'm showing some music. Same way, when I go to the cat, there are more, there's more than one costume of the cat. So if you all remember, we showed the cat walking. And for that, we used green flag, like I said, is the event. We went to control. We got a repeat block like again, like a code.org. So again, these blocks, to do a recap, these are blocks, different blocks are available here. So depending on what you want, you can simply either scroll down over here, keep scrolling and looking for a particular block. Or if you know I want to do something with the looks, then go to the looks. I want to do something with motion, with movement, then go to motion. So depending on what you want to code, those blocks you go. Now I want to show my cat has to move. So if I am doing 10 times repeat movement of 10 steps, then my, I am making my cat move 100 times. But I showed you I want to show her walking. Actually, when we are walking, we do not just walk like this. We walk with our movement of the legs. So if we want to show that, we go to looks. We have costumes over here. We can use a next costume. And suppose I show, like, let me put my cat here. I press green flag, but it is running. My cat is running. But what if I want to show that she's doing a leisure walk, a slow walk, a normal walk? Then we go to control and we have a block for weight. So I need to add a weight block. Now, by default, it's given as one second. I can reduce it according to my wish. I want to show very slow walking. I want to show fast walking. If I increase the number of seconds the weight, it will become slower. If I decrease it, she'll walk relatively fast. Now, if I play this, you can see it's looking as if she is walking by just using next costume. Now, another thing I showed you is when I am making the cat move, every time I'm pressing green flag, she is walking 100 steps towards the right. Ultimately, what will happen? It would have moved to the edge of the screen. She's gone. Now, if I keep pressing, she's going further. Now, you can just see her tail and her one foot. So it's, she's moving, but we can't see her. But I don't want that. I want to fix her. I want to show her walking from this end and come to the guitar. Suppose I want to show her. Suppose my guitar is also here. And I want to show her walking here. Then I need to show her beginning, her starting coordinates. Now, if you remember, I told you. My screen is divided into X and Y coordinate like our maths. This is X axis. This is Y axis. Any particular pos position of your sprite is given by X axis and Y axis. So the, if, if in maths you have done graphs or coordinates, then this, these are negative X. This is positive X. This is negative Y down. And this is positive y. And this point over here is 0, 0. So you can see each time I am on a particular sprite, these coordinates will uh, is with reference to the current position of my sprite. When I go to motion and I look at this fifth block or I look at the glide, the coordinates over here match with these coordinates. 
So if you pay attention, I change. Let me uh, move. I'll just clear this part on the screen, and then I'll show you what will happen when I move my cat. So pay attention to the markings which I'm showing right now. These x y over here and here. So if I move my cat manually with my mouse pointer, and I want to get her to the bench. The coordinates your x is minus six and y is minus ninety six. Same thing is reflecting over here. So now, like I said, I want to first I want to show that my cat is walking from this edge of the screen. So I'll manually get her, place her here. Now to make sure, every time I press the green flag, my cat begins from this particular point on the screen. i need to get this fifth block from motion and put it after my green flag now this is going to this block is very important it is going to make sure my cat always begins from this these coordinates so what happened earlier i did not fix the coordinate every time i press green flag it began from its new position and it reached the end of the screen which we do not want so now when i click on green flag she will walk Oh, this was a good calculation. She's reached the guitar. Again, if I press the green flag, she's beginning from her original position and reaching the guitar. Okay. Now, what? Uh, I think last class I also showed you a glide, where I showed you a baseball gliding. So obviously, I cannot show a guitar glide gliding. It looks very uh, strange. It's not possible unless my unless the cat kicks the guitar so we will just delete how do i delete a sprite i do not want to show a guitar over here so i click the guitar when i am on the guitar you can see there is a trash can next to the on top of this screen this you select it and you click on it it will get deleted so i do not want a guitar i have deleted the guitar now if i go to costumes of the ball there are various colors of the ball i do not want yellow yellow because the cat is also yellow so do you can pick your favorite color now my guitar was somewhere here my cat is anyways walking till here so i can get my ball down again i now want to code my guitar uh, my ball so again i start with the green flag remember if i am going to show any movement i need to fix the beginning coordinate So currently, where my ball is is the coordinate I wanted to start with because the cat will reach the ball. The ball should be in that position so that my cat kicks it and it glides. Now I have to show the ball to gliding after my cat kicks to this. Say it kicks and it goes high, and then I want to show it falling down. So first, do let's do step by step. When my cat kicks the ball, these are the new coordinates. It takes one second to go there. So I've got that coordinate. Now it falls down again. If I want to show a two glide, so again I move it, and I get another glide. So one second up, one second down. So I put both the coordinates. If I want to add a little bit movement, okay, let's not add the control right now to see how it defends. Now I don't want it to immediately happen. What will happen if I give an immediate command, glide, glide, and I press the green flag? so before my cat reaches the ball is going up and down which is not correct i don't want that so i want to get my ball to the beginning position but i want it to wait for the cat to come so my cat is coming it will maybe take 2 seconds to come so now i will add a set control i will give it a 2 seconds wait and then i will ask it to glide and then i'll test it so my cat's walking it's it's gone before my cat reached it so i let's see 3 seconds works better perfect so you saw what glide does it did and what your repeat and your next costume what has it done now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. 
Bright Duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices